All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. We have another 2023 50R Heritage for you guys today, but before we get into everything on this car, if you haven't subscribed already, please do give us a like, give us a comment. A lot of great content coming your way. So the story on this car, it came out of the Midwest, out of a private collection. The owner claimed it was the last GT 350R model uh, for 2020 for the Heritage Edition that was for sale by dealer. So he bought the car in February. We'll show you guys as we walk around the car, there's a 20 grand dealer markup from MSRP based on you know this car being for sale so late into really, I mean, production was obviously over, but a lot of these cars sold in 2020. This sold in February of 2021. Still in the wrapper, non-dealer prepped. It's got 31 miles, very similar to the car that's in our private collection with 14 miles still in the wrapper. You got the same stickers, same plastic covering the door sills on the navigation screen, on your gauges. And we're gonna walk you guys through that here shortly. Um, but just to refresh your memories, this is now the third 350R Heritage that we've had. Love them, fantastic cars, as we've been saying. You know, if you can't get a 2015 350R, which there was only 37 made, it's, you know, very, very difficult to find and, and get your hands on unless you were a Ford executive. This car being the 2020 350R Heritage was a one year only make with the Wimbledon white and Guardsman blue stripes. That was for not only over the top on the hood, but on the sides, you'll have your side stripes done in the Guardsman blue with the 350 as well. You'll see the Guardsman Blue badging on the front grille. All other R models will be red. So it was a one year only make for the Wimbledon White and the Guardsman Blue stripes. It was a sort of uh, paying homage to the cars of 1965 that were done the same way. And it was the last year for the 350 and the 350R model before they were discontinued. So good send off last year for the manual transmission. We've talked about it now for you know every 350R we've we've had. A lot of guys were buying the GT500s, especially in 2020 when those cars came out. It was the first year back since 2014. Those guys are even going back to the 350R model because they wanted the manual transmission. Last year for the flat plane crank naturally aspirated motor with 525 horsepower so great cars very hard to find them you know delivery miles like this one some guys drove them i see a couple uh, on the market here and there sparingly with 500 1000 miles which you know doesn't seem like a lot and definitely is not but collector wise the lower the miles the better um, investment grade and collector grade opportunity and it's just hard to to find those cars this car, if you see right here, does not even have its front spoiler on it. It hasn't been assembled. It's actually sitting right here in the passenger seat going back to where the rear seat delete is. Still in the bubble wrap because it has not been assembled. So pretty cool that you will get the car without that assembled. You don't have to worry about in transport. Is it gonna rub? Does it have any marks? It does not, it's perfect. So with the R model, you have your carbon fiber wheels on the front. The tires are 305 by 30s and they are sitting on 19s on all four corners. So those are all carbon fiber wheels, which is one of the more distinguishing features for the R model and a big difference between the 350 and the 350Rs. You'll see the big Brimbo brakes right here as well, which you know are great with these cars. Everybody says how great they are on the track. I've never personally tracked one, but based on the reviews and people I know that have tracked them, they say that they are an absolute blast. Um, yesterday we sold our 2019 350R and they were saying the same things of just, you know, how great these cars are, especially for the money. You know, when you start comparing what you can get for the price value of a 350R, it is a lot of bang for your buck, even though they are still doing uh, a significantly more um, dollar amount over sticker um, because people are starting to realize how rare these cars are, how fun they are, and now that they probably won't be making any more. You'll see the stickers here on the front windshield, also on the side, just like the one that's in our private collection. You have a sticker showing you for transport, how the car should be loaded. 
another um, sticker here with the VIN number. I'm not really sure what this one is for. Uh, I'm reading it now. All stuff about transport, really. As you go inside the car, you'll see the plastic on your floor mats. You'll see the plastic covering the Ford Performance on the door sills. Carbon fiber instrument panel, which was an option. And you'll uh, also see the plastic that's covering the gauges and your navigation screen and that manual transmission. You have the nice Recaro seats. Those are all manual. They're not power because of the track and the R model, giving you a little bit lighter weight for the track purposes. Nice red stitching on your seats, in your doors, around the transmit around, around the uh, shifter. This car is chassis number 143. So of the R models they made, I'm hearing 278 to 280, somewhere around that number. This one, 143, so you have one that's kind of right in the middle. And again, these cars are seat delete for the rear. There is no rear seat. Again, trying to limit how heavy the car is for your track purposes. And there you go with your bubble wrap to see that spoiler that has not yet been assembled. Pretty neat, I haven't had a car like that that I can remember where we didn't have the front spoiler attached to the car. As you work your way to the back, again, you'll see that badging here on the trunk that's done in Guardsman Blue, which is only for the Heritage models. You have your carbon fiber wing. I'm gonna pop the trunk here. And you're gonna see everything still like it was at the factory. You have your welcome box. That tape is sealed, that's never been opened. So what you'll have in there is your chassis crank, you'll have your uh, pictures, you'll have some manuals, books. You even have here that's never been opened, your transport blocks when they were transporting the car to the dealership. Factory mats, more books, more manuals and also your car cover which has never been opened so you got everything in here just like you would have received it the day that it got to the showroom you'll see the exhaust in the back dual pipes on both sides and anybody who knows the 350s and 350r models are really well known for their sound when you get in there and you're able to open that exhaust to track mode, let it breathe a little bit, these cars scream and we've been showing you guys that on all the R models that we've had. Everybody loves the sound of the 350s and the 350Rs because they are nasty. I mean, the car redlines at 8,250 RPMs, which is <laughs> unheard of. Um, sounds better than even the ZR1s and you guys know how much we love those cars. So as we work our way over to the other side of the car, you'll still see the window sticker still in that passenger window. Has an MSRP of $79,095, base price was 59, and you have options that are almost $18,800, $13,000 of which is that R package. Again, you have the 19 black plated carbon fiber wheels, the carbon fiber rear wing, your front tires are gonna be 305 by 30s. Your rear is 315 by 30s. You'll have the wheel locking kit and the adjustable strut mounts. The Heritage package was another $2,000. This car is also equipped with the technology package with traffic alert, voice activation, touchscreen, and navigation system, and also the B&O sound system, which is full of 12 speakers. The Guardsman Blue Stripe, exposed carbon fiber another option and then your gas guzzler package or tax but right next to it you'll see another sticker and that is the twenty thousand dollar dealer markup on this car because it was the last or what he believes to be the last one that was for sale by a dealership in the united states so they marked it up twenty thousand dollars plus sales tax and you guys can uh, figure out and, and do the math there of what he had in the car and that was back in February, which is why 
These cars have been sprinting ever since and continue to go up in value. There's just very little that are even on the market if there's any on the market at that specific time. Never mind a heritage model, it's hard enough to find a 2020 350R now. Start to narrow it down to a heritage model and you're talking really rare air because it was again the last model for the 350, 350 year last year that they made these as people now start transitioning more towards the GT500. But as we mentioned to start the video, a lot of people like these cars because of their sound, because of the manual transmission, and because of the fact that they've been discontinued now. And you know, there's no sign of when they're gonna be coming back, if they ever will come back. So that's a wrap on our 2020 350R Heritage, car that's still in the wrapper, 31 miles, non-dealer prepped, great collector car, investment grade. Please follow along, subscribe if you haven't already to see some more great content on the way.